Now, if you've been doing client work for any length of time, then you've probably had the client that absolutely freaks out when you tell them that having a custom email address is gonna cost them something like three or $6 a month. For whatever reason, email's always been free in their mind and they just can't justify paying for it. Of course, having an at Hotmail address on your professional business website doesn't look great, so I cringe anytime I have to do it. But it's not just cheap clients. There are often times when I set up some kind of side project and I need a customer facing email address, but in no way do I need another inbox to manage. And these situations are where email forwarding can really come in handy. Thankfully, Cloudflare's free plan allows for this. So in today's video, I thought I'd show you how to set it up. Okay, so here inside this Cloudflare account, I've just set up this website, midlothianwebsites.com. I've just added it into my Cloudflare account. And if you wanna know how to add that and get that all set up, I'll make sure to link to a video where I walk through that process down in the video description. But once you get your website in here and connected and your DNS is pointed here to Cloudflare, you can log in and go here under email, and then we'll click on email routing. Now, since I haven't set any of this up on this domain yet, we'll have to click this get started button. And then here's where you decide what you want your email address to be. So it's whatever you want at midlothianwebsites.com. So we'll just put in here, hi, so we can have hi at midlothianwebsites.com. And then we have to decide where we want this to forward to. So I'm gonna have this forward to my email address, which is cheers at the admin bar.com. We'll go ahead and select that and we'll hit create and continue. Now, when we do that, it's going to verify this destination address to make sure that we're actually forwarding email to an inbox we have access to. So if I go check my email now, we should see that verification email. And while it did land in my updates folder and not in my inbox, this is the email you should be looking for. It should say Cloudflare verify email routing address. And then in here inside this email, you just have a button to verify this address. So I'm gonna go ahead and verify that now. It's gonna open Cloudflare back up, verify that I'm a human, and now we've successfully created this route. So if we go back here into our dashboard and under the email routing tab, you can see it says here that email routing is currently disabled and not routing emails. And we need to go ahead and enable this email routing, which is gonna set up all the MX records. Now this is where you wanna double check here that you're not using this domain to send any other kind of emails. If you've already set up something like Google Workspace on this domain, it's going to disable all those systems. The only way email is gonna work through this domain once we press add records and enable is through this email forwarding. So you wanna make sure that you don't have any other kind of email set up on your domain. Now I'm not even using this domain, so I know we're safe to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add records and enable, and that's gonna go ahead and add all the DNS records I needed to get this email routing working. In fact, if we go in here to our DNS records, you can see it's added all these records. This was completely blank before. I had no DNS records whatsoever, but it went ahead and added the correct MX records and the TXT records to verify everything so Cloudflare can route my emails. Now to test this out, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into another inbox here so we can send an email. I'll go ahead and paste in that hi at midlothianwebsites.com and we'll just put in here test number one and go ahead and hit send. Now I have that email inbox that everything's being forwarded to here, which is our cheers at theadminbar.com. And our email came in, we can see this came in from my agency email address and it's test number one. So we know that this forward is set up correctly. If we jump back in here to Cloudflare, we can take a look at a few other of their settings. We do have the ability to set a catch-all email address. That means anything people type before the at symbol and then midlothianwebsites.com would automatically get forwarded. I really wouldn't recommend that because you're more likely to get spammed through something like that. So I probably wouldn't turn that on. However, if you wanted to set up more forwards, so you wanted a hi at and a development at and a your name at, you could set all those up here by just creating another address. In the next tab here, we have all of our destination addresses. You can create up to 200 different destination email addresses for your account. However, each email address you set up in here can only be forwarded to one email. So you can have 200 different ones in here, but you can't have one email address that gets forwarded 200 different places. The next tab here is to set up email workers. We could go in here and create scripts that will create custom rules. If, if we hit create here, we'll see some of the default ones they set up for you so you can allow senders. So if you wanted to only allow certain email addresses to send to these forwarded email addresses, you can set that up here. You can block specific senders. You can do things like send notifications to Slack, or you can figure out how to set up your own custom workers in here. This is a beta feature inside of Cloudflare, but in my experience, it works pretty well. Lastly, we have our settings page here, which just shows the domain and records that we're using and gives us the ability to add a subdomain. 
Now there are a couple caveats to this, one being you're not able to send emails from this email address, and two, you don't have an inbox to manage all these. You're gonna have to already have an inbox that you're using that all these emails are gonna get forwarded to. So it's not perfect in every situation, but in the right situations, it can really come in handy. I've done a couple other videos regarding Cloudflare and different things you can do with it, so I'll make sure to pop those on the screen now. If you enjoyed today's video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up, and if you wanna make sure to catch the next one, then hit subscribe, and we'll see you then.